Right. I've called this meeting to discuss the Australian workplace agreements. We're going to send out a pretty clear message to the unions that we're not going to be strong armed. And we will remind them that they are entirely responsible for our actions and that we will not submit to their strong arm tactics in the future. Yeah. Right, they've negotiated everything away from us, the bastards. They've bled us dry. And not just from us, but from our co-workers and our co-workers' co-workers. And our co-workers, co-workers, co-workers. Yeah, right. And our co-workers, 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 co-workers. All right. Don't labour the point. <laughs> labour, I guess. <laughs> Shut up. And after all that, what has the union movement ever done for us? Maternity leave? What? Maternity leave. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They did give us that. Superannuation? Oh, yeah. Do you remember how hard it used to be to be able to retire? Do you remember that, sir? All right, yeah, yeah, OK. Well, maternity leave and superannuation are two things that the unions have done for us. And workers' compensation? Well, obviously workers' compensation. Workers' compensation's a given. You know, it goes without saying. But apart from maternity leave, superannuation and workers' compensation, what has the union movement ever done for us? Medicare? The award system. Occupational health and safety. Paid annual leave. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah, we never would have got that without the unions, sir. And they certainly drive a hard bargain. Only ones that can do it, really. OK, OK. But apart from maternity leave and superannuation, workers' compensation, occupational health and safety, paid annual leave, and Medicare, the award system and collective bargaining, what else has the union movement ever given us? Our pay increases. Pay increases? Fuck off! <laughs>